Hey guys, it's Elise. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're not new, then of course, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, you guys, I got you with a review. I have not done a review in a long time. Well, review first impression. This is more of a first impression. Let's just call it what it is. It's a first impression because I've never tried this product. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do your own at-home lash extensions. Y'all, I am shook. I literally just put them on and I could not, I cannot believe how they turned out. I'm really happy with the outcome. I'll just let you guys know that right now. I am going to be talking about the Kiss Falscara Lash Starter Kit Set. I already used it, so it's an empty box. So the whole concept behind these is that you can kind of do your own lash extensions at home. These are applied beneath the lashes instead of over the top how normal strip lashes are and they're supposed to provide a little bit more longevity. I've never done them until today. I have it on right now and I'm pretty shook with the results. I am going to have this on for multiple days at a time. So hopefully the way that I feel now is the way that I'm going to feel tomorrow and the day after that. But we'll all have to stay tuned and find out if that's the case. So if you are interested in all of this, you guys, if you want to see how to do your own lash extensions at home, then of course, please keep watching. Right, so let's get into what we're here for. We're going to be talking about the Kiss Falscara Lash Starter Kit. I did want to take a second to just talk a little bit about the product, give you guys the specs, kind of a little overview of what it's supposed to do before I get into what it actually is going to do for me. So first of all, this says here it has no clumps, no smudges, no strips, no damage, no mistakes. What this comes with, you can find the Lash Wisps. I feel like I say that weird, Wisps. I say that with so much emphasis, wisps. You can find the bonder, which is essentially what's going to help prime the lashes together and prep them for the actual lashes. This is the bond, and then you have the seal right here, which is supposed to lock the wisps in place all day. And then you have the applicator too. Um, but this is what they look like. This whole kit, you guys, was $19.99. I purchased mine from Ulta. This is supposed to be a longer wearing individual lash set system. This is supposed to be a Lashify dupe. If you've never heard of Lashify, it's basically another kind of at-home lash extension kit that you can purchase. However, Lashify comes with a really hefty price tag. I believe it's $145 for the starter kit and kiss kind of bit them a little bit but obviously kiss comes with a nicer price tag if i'm totally honest y'all for that price i'd really rather go to a whole lash tech and go get my lashes done professionally i'm gonna be fair to the product and say this doesn't necessarily say that it's something that you'll want to wear like for extended period of days like you would lashify or actual lash extensions but I've seen a couple of reviews myself just to get kind of a feel for the product and all of the ladies that I saw actually did wear this product for several days at a time. So naturally, guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be wearing this for several days at a time just to see if it truly stays on my eyes and also to give you guys a full review and tell you guys if it's really worth it or not. And also, quick thing, all of the components within the starter kit can be purchased separately. If you wanted to try out just the lashes on their own with your own glue, then that's an option. Or if you wanted to just try out the bonder and the sealant with some different lashes of your own, that's also an option. And if you just want to purchase the applicator, again, that's an option. So these are my natural lashes. This is what I'm working with. They're definitely on the shorter side definitely was not very blessed in the lash department I do not have any makeup on my eyes eyelids eyelash area because it is recommended that you have clean eyelashes and you know not too much makeup around the area so definitely do something like this before you put your eyeshadow on this right here is the bond a little brush actually Step one, brush a light coat of the bond on natural lashes. A little goes a long way. Sticky. I'm trying to focus it like more on the base of the lash. And I feel like if anything, the bond kind of should go on the base. And uh, this is definitely sticky. Oh, that bonder don't play, y'all. So y'all want to work quick after that. I almost feel like I can't blink because everything's sticking. So, okay, next up. Wisp under lashes. So use the included Falscara applicator, boom, right here, to pluck a wisp from the tray as shown. Pick up a wisp from the middle. Place the wisps, wisps underneath the base of your natural lashes slightly away from the waterline. Grab this one. You know what? Honestly, I feel like I should put a little bit of bonder on this too. Make sure I lock 
of this little bitch in place. On the waterline, Oh my god, this freaking bond is no joke. Started at the outer corner, working my way in. I'm just gonna like clamp them together. Oh, you wanna be careful how you pull those two because they're a little tight in there. So again, I know it looks kind of creepy like putting the lash underneath my lashes but i promise you guys it's actually not bad at all i really like just saying it sounded like a little freaky to me because i've never put anything under my lash line like this but it's not as creepy as it sounds promise thing i don't like is i feel like that bonder is making my lashes a little clumpy which i don't like if you start to get too much of the bonder like on the applicator you're gonna want to take some sort of rubbing alcohol or makeup remover and start to take it off to make sure that the actual wisp isn't sticking to the applicator. Mine isn't sticking because I'm not being too, too messy with it, but I'm sure that as I keep going, it's gonna get messier. So I'll have to start wiping it down with some remover. This is the sealant. And again, the sealant says that it seals the deal and this final touch eliminates any sticky residue, holds the lashes in place. So this is what it's looking like. Obviously this is the eye without anything. You can definitely notice a lot more volume. They're super, super natural looking. I will say it feels so unbelievably comfortable. Like I don't even feel like I have anything on my eye. Like I know something's there because obviously I just put them on um, and they're definitely longer than my regular natural lashes. So I definitely know something's there. However, as far as density and as far as weight, they literally have no weight. They don't feel heavy at all. Side view. I wish they were a little bit more gradual because I almost feel like the inner corner lash, I did see some people saying that too. The inner corner lash is literally the same length as all the other lashes. So, that's probably the only thing like I feel like if you want that more like flared out effect you need a shorter inner lash going in with the bond all right so now I'm gonna use the sealant sealant I keep calling it sealant it just says seal so and when I use this I run it from the base up just to really make sure I coat everything because I don't want no sticky lashes, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. So guys, this is the finished look. I really like it so far. It's definitely a step up, a little bit of an upgrade for my natural lashes, which are a little bit shorter, a little bit sparser. I think it took me about 20 to 25 minutes just because I took my time and I really wanted to make sure that I read the instructions and I was following the right direction. Today is Friday, but I'm hoping to have this on throughout the weekend. So I'm hoping to update you guys maybe Sunday and give you guys my final thoughts. Of course, if they last that long, we will see you guys. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna check out for the night just because I'm very tired. Actually, my pajamas right now, sis. Don't get it twisted, okay? I have a little bit of foundation on, a little bit of blush. So all that I'm gonna do is just wipe that off, black out for the night, and then tomorrow morning, I'm really not gonna wear much makeup because I'm really just gonna be running errands. I'm gonna go grocery shopping, do some things around the house. I really don't need to wear makeup tomorrow, so I'm not too worried. Sunday, maybe I'll put a little bit of makeup on so I can follow up with you guys and let you guys know how everything's looking. So I keep saying Sunday like I'm gonna make it to Sunday, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that this will give me at least 48 hours of work. So we will We'll see it is currently the next day today Saturday I feel like the lighting is a little bit strange so forgive that but I wanted to show you guys what the lashes were looking like today so surprised to say none of them came off they're all very much intact um, when I woke up this morning I did have like like my eyes were a little bit glued shut it wasn't anything that was scary i shouldn't say they were glued shut because that sounds like horrific but they were definitely like a little bit harder to open but it's because they were kind of stuck together when you sleep in obviously you get eye boogers and your eyes get a little bit moist so of course all of that mixed with the falsies kind of does something and i'm and i'm assuming that's what kind of made them be a little bit harder to open maybe there was a little extra residue of the bond i'm not sure but overall it looks really really good 
really really good um i'm excited to continue to wear them today this is pretty much as much makeup as i'm gonna have on all day um i'm just realizing i look like a damn highlighter i looked like a highlighter last night i look like another highlighter today with this hot pink sweater on but i'm gonna go run groceries now i'm pretty much gonna be chilling all day at home there's really not gonna be much going on with me today but i wanted to give you an update to let you guys know that we are doing good still at the whatever hour mark this is i'm gonna check in with you guys maybe later and if i don't check in later it's because there aren't really any updates um and hopefully we can keep this going until tomorrow on sunday and we can wrap this video up and it is now sunday at exactly one o'clock it's been about 38 hours of me wearing these lashes feel like i'm kind of hanging on by a thread especially on my left eye because literally two of the clumps already fell out so i really do want to kind of take them off at this point yesterday i had a really good day actually i did record a little bit of an update for you guys in the morning before i kind of started my day to show you guys where i was at but the lashes stayed on all day long beautifully actually i was at my sister's house and she was even looking at my eyes like do you have something on because it kind of looks like you do it also kind of looks like you don't so they are very very natural I'm, so i've been trying to kind of keep them on today just for the sake of the video and to kind of wrap up the video for you guys but at this point these lashes are kind of ready to come off all in all i'd probably say that you'd get 24 to 48 hours use out of them it depends how you live your life and what you do on a day-to-day -day. i'm just gonna take this with a little cotton round and kind of just hope for the best so do you see right here how it looks so clumpy? It's because this clump of the eyelash is already wanting to come off without tugging, obviously, to see if it comes off. Yeah, so that was freaking super easy. Yeah, this one has been wanting to come off since earlier this morning when I woke up. So I'm not shocked at all. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I Actually, I had less. I actually thought I had two clumps left. So now that removes all of the eyelashes from this eye. So I, all I have left to remove are the two inner ones. For this, I feel like they're stuck on there a little bit better. So I'm going to take a cotton round with that micellar water. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> One of them flew off. <laughs> that was easy. So removal is super easy, you guys. Do not sweat it. Don't think it's going to be difficult at all. Clearly it's not. And now that takes all of them off of this eye. So now I no longer have the lash extensions. Remove the excess bond from my eyelashes. Removed all of the product. Um, I don't have anything left on my lashes. They're completely clean now. I think I'm just gonna go off on a whim and say that you don't even need to buy their remover. Whatever makeup remover that you have that's good for removing anything that resembles waterproof mascara is gonna do the job because this is what I use whenever I have to remove waterproof mascara and it took it off. I mean, you guys saw it took it off so easily. First things first, they are gonna be a little bit of an adjustment, but I mean, let's be honest, anything that goes on your eye is gonna be an adjustment. Another con would be that in the morning when you wake up, it almost feels like your eyes are a little bit glued shut at first. They are a little bit more tacky when you open your eyes and I think it's just the leftover bond plus you having your eyes closed for hours and hours at a time for your sleep um, by the time you wake up you have to kind of work with it a little bit to get your eyes to open the other con is that the bond is a little bit tricky to work with it is very very sticky so you want to work very fast so for the pros let's talk about the price this is a great price because it's only twenty dollars for the whole kit so love that for us they really do blend very seamlessly with your eyelashes especially where you put them on underneath your actual lash line it really does a great job at hiding the lash band and it's extremely discreet so i really love that it is also very reliable for a full day any day after that is kind of a gamble depending on your lifestyle definitely vouch for it being reliable for a full day's worth so meaning you put them on in the morning they're gonna stay on all day long they're very comfortable i've never stopped saying that throughout this whole video and it's definitely very true it really just they're so lightweight they're definitely more long lasting than strip lashes that is for sure if you are the type of person who really likes a very natural lash look this is definitely for you i'd like to say this product would be perfect if you're like gonna go away for the weekend or you're just gonna go like stay at a hotel or stay at a friend's house for the night or just do something away from your home for like a day or two this might be a great product just because you won't have to pack 
lashes and you won't have to deal with the hassle of it also loved the fact that they are so easy to apply I was really really shocked I'm kind of nervous doing anything that involves my eyes like I ain't trying to go blind here just trying to figure this out yeah last thing is just that it's really accessible you can buy it at Ulta even find it at other different drugstores um, Target I think carries it and I think Walmart does too but guys and that's gonna wrap up this video this first impression and this review on the kiss falscara starter kit set I was really impressed with the product. I definitely think it's a hit and very worth the $20, especially for the reasons I've already listed with to you guys. I'm going to leave a link in my bio for where you can purchase it and where I purchased mine in case you are interested. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And of course, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.